We just got the opening story cutscene to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and seeing it side by side with the original, it's an incredible upgrade. But it also brings to mind a rising debate online about the game. Is this Switch version a complete remake of the game, or a remaster? Well, let's talk about it a bit. So first, we need to ask, what exactly makes a remake? Well, for a remake of a game, generally, the game is built from the ground up, or rather, rebuilt from the ground up, uh, possibly even in a brand new engine, and you have the assets for the game completely recreated from scratch. Fundamentally, it may be exactly the same game, but it also could be different. They can change the gameplay and update it a bit, but usually that's more than just a remake, but we'll come back to those specific things later. So a remake, generally, is taking a game and completely remaking it. So what's a remaster? Usually a remaster is in the same engine as the original game, if not literally the same game, with a bit more visually added to it to make it more than just a simple port. Remasters usually have updated textures, new lighting and visuals, and often a higher polygon count on the models. Sometimes they even have some quality of life improvements, small updates to the game that just help make it more accessible, or general improvements in response to feedback of the original game. Sometimes, although rarely, remasters may even have a bit of new content to entice players who played the original to pick up this version too, like a harder difficulty mode. Twilight Princess HD, for example, had the Cave of Shadows and Amiibo support, the term remaster is also often used in marketing for games that play exactly the same as the original, but look better, with updated controls. It gets the idea across very cleanly, very simply. It's that game, looks a little better. But working back to remakes. Nowadays, there's this big kind of misconception that a remake needs to make a game fundamentally different than the original. I'm looking at games like Final Fantasy VII Remake or Resident Evil 2 Remake because they have remake in the title, but they're very different to the original game. Well, keeping remake in the title makes it seem like this is the definition of what a remake is. But the fact of the matter is, these are more than just remakes. These are actually reimaginings of the game, where they're taking like the original stories and the core ideas and completely changing many other aspects of the game. They're changing what the whole gameplay loop is like how the game plays, and making the gameplay itself significantly different from the original. It's the idea of what the original game is, but completely redoing it and reimagining it in a new way. The original ideas are there, but ultimately, they're new takes on the games. That's what Final Fantasy VII Remake and Resident Evil 2 Remake and others like that actually are. But using the term reimagining just doesn't really sound that good for marketing. So it's why you never really see this game reimagined. Which is why we'd never say we've reimagined our reminders to click that subscribe button. This is obviously just a remake of that idea to click subscribe. So bringing it back to Paper Mario, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is very faithful to the original from what we've seen so far, like collectibles being in exactly the same location. But there are also completely new elements to the game too completely new NPCs, brand new art and animations for characters, not just updating all the existing ones, and the whole geometry of the world has been completely redone too. Not just new textures. We can see how the environment is completely remodeled to look more crafted in its design. Look at the rocky sides of this hill, which are clearly modeled to look like they were folded together with cardboard. Or this bridge in Pedalburg now with thin edges looking like it was placed in a diorama, or even how the grass curls over the edges of the rocks here. It's not just a texture placed on the side of it, it's the model of the grass pulled and curved over the edge, once again upgrading that crafted art style compared to the original. That's not just adding new textures on what was there before, that's remaking it. And now that we've seen the new intro cutscene for the Thousand Year Door, it's not just updated visuals for the storybook. 
It's a completely new animated sequence. The text is exactly the same as before, but rather than just pictures in a book with the pages flipping, it's a complete animation. This wouldn't really be what we would see if it was just a fresh coat of paint on the original game. It's a completely new creation. And that really goes for everything we've seen in the game, in fact. I mean, would you call Super Mario RPG on the Switch a remaster of the original? Because it was completely remade from the ground up, making it far more in line with the remake. Sure, it wasn't a reimagining, but that's not actually a requirement of a remake. And the same can be said here for the Thousand Year Door. Of course, Nintendo's been a bit mixed on this marketing in the past too. I mean, Metroid Prime Remastered is a fantastic remaster, but so many people believe it's actually more in line with a remake. This industry is a bit confusing with a lot of this terminology of remasters, remakes, and confusing remakes for reimaginings. And ultimately, it's hard to tell exactly where every single product is unless we're very directly told what the company considers it. And sometimes what the company considers it kind of contradicts the exact definition we're given. Hence why there's a big debate right now. Is A Thousand Year Door a remake or a remaster? With everything we went over in this video, personally, I think The Thousand Year Door fits more as a remake of the game. Completely new geometry, completely new animated sequence, completely new art for it, and not just a fresh coat of paint thrown on the original. And that's in addition to the quality of life improvements, and the fact that we even know from Nintendo that there's going to be new gameplay features in the game too. Sure, we've yet to see exactly what these are, but we know they're also here. So that's elements that are usually in at least remasters, and elements of the game being rebuilt from the ground up. At this time, we don't know for sure if it's running in the same engine as the original, or maybe the engine for Paper Mario the Origami King. We don't know exactly what's running it, so we can't say for certain. But I feel like there's more than enough evidence here to say that it's actually a remake of the game and not just a remaster. But ultimately, that's just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you see the Thousand Year Door as more of a remake or a remaster? Let us know where you stand in the debate down below and make sure to subscribe to Game Explain for plenty more on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, including various comparisons and analyses that we've already done and of course, plenty more coverage when the game actually releases. Until next time, farewell.